During the past few months, I embarked on my latest quest. Approximately 500 eagles nests are scattered across Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands. Along my journey, I not only stumbled upon eagles nests, but also encountered nests of various other bird species. From the familiar robin to the stealthy great horned owl, each nest revealed its own unique story. Some nests showcased fine precision in their construction, while others defied gravity, presenting awe-inspiring architectural masterpieces. With scenic views from this beautiful land, I'm excited to take you high in the sky to where the eagles fly. So sit back and relax as I share my experience along with the techniques and the camera settings. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matt Shannon and I'm a full-time photographer in beautiful British Columbia. From soaring mountains to hidden waterfalls and elusive wildlife to stunning sunsets, I'm excited to film each step of the way. Whether you're here to learn, be inspired, or simply enjoy some stunning visuals, you've come to the right place. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Hi everyone, I have been out filming this eagle an eagle in its nest for an hour and a half or so. I've been just standing here and it hasn't moved out of its nest. There's the eagle up there in the nest. At this time, the eagle is just sitting on the eggs. So she's there or he's there for 22 hours of the day. It's a very long time. I parked over over there and I've got the tripod set up right here obviously I'm on a, it's a back road but my goodness it's busy it's a very busy back road and I'm shooting with the Z9 and the 500 but to lose the sunlight I only got one moment where the eagle spread its wings flew away and then she or he came right back within Two minutes. I'm quite a bit colder now. So I'm going to pack up and uh, maybe come back in a couple of weeks when there's some young. Now little did I know that I would be going on a wild goose chase trying to track down every different eagle's nest that might have some chicks in it. That I would get these awesome landing and taking off shots. Lucky for you, I'm just going to put together all the highlights and just show you what shots I did get. So, let's get cracking. Hey everyone, round... I don't know, 18 or so. It's a beautiful day out, I'm taking the motorbike and hopefully we'll get some eagle action up in the nest. gonna quickly set up all I'm concerned about right now is getting my big lens up and running and taking some photos of eagles now this place is great I got to know the farmer okay currently I don't see anything up there so we're just gonna wait and I'm gonna go up and down the road
there's quite a few other birds out here, like swallows, barn swallows, robins. So cool. I mean, there's a lot of deer here, but I've got everything set up to be able to take photos and videos of this guy. And this farm here, there's I think six deer out here right now. So there's about six deer out there, and then this just got turned over. Oh, there's a hawk it's being chased by a couple of other. Go, 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 go. Can I, can I see? Oh, nice. Or is it a raven? There it is. I think it's a raven. Maybe he's training them. All right. Sometimes you gotta get creative. There we go. Hi everyone. I'm on the side of the highway. Uh, there's an eagle's nest right here. And the best angle to kind of get up shoot really between the power lines uh, is to set up on this slope right here. So far they've been quite active. It's in the evening now. We're getting blue sky in the back, some nice uh, highlights. So it's a, it's a beautiful time of day. It's nice and warm out. And it looks like the, the baby eagle is, is approaching sort of a hawk size. Um, I'm not sure, might be another two, three weeks before maybe it's learning to fly, so got to come back here and maybe capture some of that. Mostly what I'm doing is, is getting, you know, some cool video of them feeding, trying to get, grab some shots here and there. I mean, there's branches, there's things in the way, so you kind of have to be patient. So the video is kind of fun to, to capture, uh, and then whenever I have a moment and I see that there's going to be Either one of the one of the adult eagles swooping in. I switch over to my photo setting, and I have everything set up to 20 frames per second, and I just blast away. There's a couple of times where I'm looking up, and I kind of tell whether they're going to take off from the nest, uh, and then that's where I might set up pre-capture and just hope for the best. But a lot of these things you have to be patient, and uh, it's another beautiful spot except for all the noise. All right, it is time to pack up. It's too bad the eagle started flying right at sunset, so I might mostly have just silhouette images. With each passing week and month, my beard grew longer and my standards for formal wear went downhill as the summer months approached. 
As I explored various eagle's nests, I encountered a fascinating array of newborn chicks at different stages of development. However, a curious pattern emerged during my observation. Hours would slip away without the slightest hint of a call, a soaring flight, a hunting pursuit, or even the slightest release of waste from these majestic raptors. Some evenings I'd go out and I wouldn't get one single shot. He's gonna poop, he's gonna fly, I think. Yep. Oh, he pooped. As soon as they poop, that usually means lighten the load and go for a fly. Oh! Not always, but. Oh, that's another one well, that's coming back. No, oh, yeah, yep, there you go. All right, I got 7% left on this battery. Can't really see. Uh, wait, do I have batteries in here? Well, I did have another battery, but that's typically how those things play out, where you forget your battery and then everything happens all at once. Now, during this evening, the clouds were really nice. The sun was extremely soft with its lighting because of a thin cloud along the horizon. And the moon was also out for some really cool close-up shots with my telephoto and teleconverter. So look at that, after two or three hours, I was just about to pack up everything. Lo and behold, the, uh, the mom and the dad came back with some food. So I might stick around for another 10, 15 minutes. I mean, the sun is almost gone and, uh, and then head home, so. So if you like this content, please give me that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you aren't subscribed, maybe think about subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, please drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I hope to see you on the next episode.